fast electrically propelled boats like this one are becoming increasingly popular around the lakes and rivers of Berlin. But with limited to no charging options within the city, how can this continue? Well, using a floating charging station powered by cabinets full of Victron Energy equipment, of course. Eric designed this boat himself to fulfill his dreams of living near nature, but also to ensure his new home on the water is comfortable with all modern conveniences you'd expect in a luxury home and powered by the sun. We love it because we have this panoramic view all the time. No neighborhood, only your friends talking next to us, but you can really enjoy the time here, spend really quality time in the city and it's very important for us. And it's quite hard to find also properties by the water that you can afford. So we have a luxury penthouse and still are able to move from A to B and we live where we drop the anchor. We can go around Berlin actually and because Berlin has more bridges than Venice and some of them are very narrow so we are with this 140, Soleil 140, we are too big for the city center but we have small electric boats to do this nice ride. Eric isn't just living the dream, he's making the dream become reality for his customers too, building luxury solar powered catamarans for a booming European market. So we are producing these boats here in Berlin or close to Berlin in Brandenburg. It's, this one is a trimaran, some of them are catamaran on the aluminium hull. And why do we do this, not mono hull? Because it's, first of all, it's super efficient. When you go to the water, it drives very nice and smoothly straight. You don't have any things that you have to be worried about, like steel, it gets rusty, you have to paint it. All those plastic hulls, you have to make some anti-fouling. We don't have any, any anti-fouling, we are very sustainable. And aluminium, we just have the victim anodes to replace them every couple of years. It's super easy to deal with aluminium. And they are built actually to be on the lake or going from Brandenburg to Amsterdam. We have boats now in Venice and this is 20 meters long, so you can drive it with a regular license for boating. Seven meters wide, that's why we call it 140, because it's 140 square meters the main deck. Plus the rooftop terrace where we have the solar and a huge lounge. And actually we are now at anchor, docked to the solar station, charging solar energy and enjoying the day. We have pretty cool customers, they are very individual, they are very uh, sensitive regarding uh, sustainability. So most of them drive already electric cars, have solar panels or solar system at their houses. Usually of course you have to have a bit of money to afford this kind of vessels. It starts around 200,000, goes up 600,000. And these guys are pretty busy and want also some recre recreational and leisure time to spend on a boat, but they don't want to have the hustle with the boats, painting, winter service. They are really always surprised how self-sufficient the boats are. The whole boat produces his own water. So we have fresh water from the lake, cleaning it. We have a wastewater certified for wastewater system. So you don't have a headache with that. As well as water filtration, at the core of Eric's business is Victron Energy Systems, something he uses in his own vessel, as well as the boats he builds for his customers. So all our electric systems on all our solar yachts are, is Victron Energy. So we are super focused on solar energy. And from, depends on the battery storage, the capacity, we can be from April till September without any grid power only off grid on the lake even in the marina because of our big terraces you can choose how many solar panels you want we have a 48 volt system only and this is so cool because we can use it for all the electricity aboard also for electric engines or hybrid systems so we can drive fully powered by solar and for example the solar station we brought it here today to berlin from our ship in brandenburg and the whole tour around 100 kilometers was only powered by solar Germany, along with other European countries, 
is drafting plans to make boats as well as cars much more dependent on renewable sources of energy. By 2030 or 35, Berlin has to be climate neutral and there will be no boats allowed anymore with burning fuel. The problem, at least for now, is infrastructure. Are there enough charging stations for all these new electric boats? Thorsten has his own electric boat building business not far away in Berlin. So we are offering a variety of electric boats uh, for basically uh, different purposes, family boats, uh, leisure boats, the cruisers, pallet that's really serving like a one-stop solution. If you like an electric boat, you're going to find the right one that is not only electric, but also fun to drive and uh, feels more like a sports boat than, than uh, a slow kind of uh, electric boat. You have this 24 hours docking places, but there is no infrastructure at all, no water and no electricity. We figured out, okay, we could produce more or share it with other boats. So we started to share with them the shore power for them because they are running out of batteries with the little 12 volt batteries. This is actually the same concept we, de we developed for a floating solar charging launch. Electric boats, they, most of them don't have a cabin. They are electric boats, but they don't have a cabin. And here you're not in a rush, so you can dock. And if you like to, you can charge or you can uh, charge your boat and book the launch to have an overnight stay. So you stay overnight in a very luxurious, comfort hotel room, floating hotel room, and you experience our uh, solar yacht comfort. So this is actually also a marketing tool for us, like Porsche Charging Launch, you experience the exclusivity. Here you experience our boat life that we created. So when I go through the city now, lucky enough, there's another floating charging station on the other side of the city. So I can basically park the boat, charge it overnight, sleep on the, on the charging station or go back home and then take the next trip on the next day. Like Eric, Thorsten installs Victron Energy systems to power the boats he builds. It's not you have to worry about where do I get gasoline and uh, where, where, when I do I fill it in. I'm not going to spill anything, so all that hassle is gone with that. But going quietly on the lake where you really experience the nature much more or less or almost no vib vibration at all, and that, that is a whole new level of, of water experience. It's more like rowing or sailing than, than regular combustion boats. I, I always think that people going by with their loud combustion boats, they're really missing out the point on, on recreation on the water. For a smaller boat with like only 10 kilowatt hours of battery, which is super enough, you don't have a lot of uh, charging uh, needs basically. And within five hours you can charge from zero to 100% and I think in 50% in two hours. If you have a bigger boat, um, you're also selling a very nice nine meter boat uh, that has 30 kilowatt hours of battery and this will also charge overnight with like 2.5 kilowatts. Um, so that, that doesn't really require a big infrastructure, but it does require accessibility. So what Victron Energy equipment is on board to allow all this? There are two full height server racks located in the center of the boat, each containing identical equipment. They both have a Quattro 48 volt 10 kVA inverter charger at the heart of the system powered by solar panels on the roof through two MPPT-15085 smart solar charge controllers. As this is a boat floating on water, there are two galvanic isolators and two AC consumer units. Both cabinets have 10 Victron Energy lithium ion phosphate, 25.6 volt, 200 amp hour batteries. That's over 102 kilowatt hours of power. There are sure power points at each end of the boat for charging and everything can be monitored via two Serbo GXs and remotely via VOM. The system is so efficient that Eric can even charge his electric car from the boat's power. When I had full batteries and my solar system produced 20-25 kilowatt hours, I plugged in my car during the day when the boat was here. So 20-25 kilowatt is like 150 kilometers for free. We tested a lot of systems uh, from different countries and on different boats in the beginning, especially on, my, on our own boats. And the one system that was really working from battery to charger to solar, 
everything as a one one solution is only Vikram because you don't want to have a different charger, different battery pack and with a battery management system and different solar system. I bet this not going to work <laughs> for sure not. So if you have one system, it's like this Apple Cosmos, the Apple universe that you have your phone connected to your to your MacBook, to your uh, everything in the house. It works and this is uh, super important for us and our clients. It's really reliable in terms of you can monitor it from all over the world we are online so i can check my battery system my state of charge from everywhere i am the app it gets better and better it's actually it's uh, not only a good feeling but it's uh, the freedom you can't go with the boat you have really uh, infinity range with this the sun is there it doesn't have to be very sunny today was also a bit rainy and it's, you still produce uh, solar energy and actually it's about the freedom that you want to enjoy. Is it uh, more cost efficient? You have a big investment to do have the system on board, so it counts after years, but if we can start afford this in the beginning, I think many, many more will follow that. From Berlin's innovators to Europe's new laws, the electric boating revolution is here. Powered by Victron Energy's smart, dependable systems, that keep boaters moving wherever the water takes them.